Now, listen, if you don't fancy a central city box high up in the sky, what other options? Well, you can either win lotto, you can shift cities, or get ready for a long drive to suburbia. The whole thing about suburbia um, confuses me because you always go, oh, back to the burbs, but you actually live in suburbia too. Exactly. Remember you know, where downtown suburbia. suburbia, of course. But suburbia, of course, is stretching further than ever before, just like your dollar could if you're ready for a bit of a commute. Michael Holland found a suburban outpost which could be the future. It's almost two years to the day since I last diverted off the motorway, inquiring about life on the wrong side of the Bombays. Pocono has got a lot closer to Auckland. Oh, absolutely. Back then, the grand plan was still in its infancy, still something of a curiosity. But make no mistake, the wrong side... Pocono Village Estate, 20 minutes from Manukau City, 25 minutes from the airport, is now very much the right side for hundreds of new residents. People have worked out that they can come over the hill down to Pocono. It's a no-brainer, really. They're getting everything and more down here. Case in point, the Matthews family, who moved in over the weekend after being priced out of the market 15 minutes up the road in Manurewa. Never had a brand new house? No. Did you ever think you'd have a brand new house? No, we didn't. 486000 for a four-bedroom home, two living and two bathrooms. And that's what we needed. You're smart. <laughs> Excellent value for money. There's a house a day starting here in Pocono. For us at the moment, we've got nine houses on the go, um, and there doesn't seem to be any stopping. No surprises, the price of land contributing to the comparative affordability. You're getting everything here from a designer kitchen to soft closed toilet seat lids for 569000 All the retaining walls are included, driveways, everything, ready to move in. You haven't skimped on anything? We never skimp. This stage here is stage five and this is this will be open before Christmas and titles will be issued. Tony Clark says his family company Summit Homes has doubled the number of homes it's built here in the last year, although he'd prefer not to give exact figures as more and more competitors appear on the scene. They've all sniffed the breeze, they're all coming down here, they're leaving Auckland like rats off a sinking ship. Adding to the appeal, the modest charges and progressive outlook of a different local authority. The Auckland Council fees are horrific, absolutely ridiculous. You know, who wants to pay $12,000 to get their water meter connected? That's just madness. They're all connected here, ready for us to go. Uh, Waikato District Council's fantastic to deal with. We love it down here. Made the right move. We definitely made the right move. The only snag, according to builders, even here, the land's not coming on stream quick enough. You're champing at the bit to get more of that brown stuff over there. We can't get enough of that brown stuff and it's not beer. <laughs> Do you hear the key number on that? The key number? The 12,000. 12, bucks <laughs> to, to get your, your water. water. God's sake. And Waikato Waik doesn't make you. Waik Waik Waikato's doing it properly, Auckland. No one, no one of the government want to bust open the RMA and try and sort that whole thing out. Oh, love Pocono, eh? And how about the ice cream? I love the bacon and the, the ice, ice cream. cream. Now listen to this. Apparently they do 19 scoops of ice cream for $26. Now we don't know how that works. We reckon a double cone. It, it has to be, be a double cone. We reckon Michael Holland but needs to go back double and Double cone, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16. On the it's top. A lot of ice cream. It's a lot of I ice cream. I think I could do it. Who doesn't want to live in Pocono when you can get that sort of ice cream?